All right, Flight fans, I'm here with Shoney Carter, Mr. International, the Passport player, the, the Platinum Pimp. Just finished up with the uh, Philadelphia MMA Expo. Had a training seminar going on with a couple uh, couple young grapplers. Um, how was the seminar, Shoney? Outstanding. I mean, one of the young ladies I taught actually won the gold medal with the technique that I taught her. I had the, the, the onlookers amazed and amused, of course, with my uh, colorful alliteration of vernacular on martial arts technique. Um, it's really good to be able to expound on my knowledge of the, the MMA base here on the East Coast, being able to broaden the horizons of the young mixed martial artists, the next two, three generations behind me. Um, it was pretty, it was really enlightening, if you will. What were you going over with the uh, with the kids? Well, the first day I worked on uh, the, old, the old ways of Thai boxing. Then I went over to uh, a few of the Naga Nakata, or the throwing techniques that of judo. I also worked on, you know, working on uh, conditioning and standard techniques. You know, keeping the hands up high as moving and not crossing your feet, you know, while moving, uh, not being flat footed. The second day I worked on more of the ground based related techniques that the triple threat series of a chain of submissions from side control, a little bit of catch wrestling. Um, a couple of throws, Yoko Wakari, the side separation for Rod Goshi, which I showed George St. Pierre, you know, for his fight against Matt Hughes, third fight. Um, yeah, it's pretty much about what I showed him. Okay, gonna change the pace a little bit. Yeah. Um, in a couple weeks, you're gonna be cornering for Gideon Ray in a respect his earned fight. Um, how's he look? How's his training camp going? Gideon has been looking really, really sharp. Scary sharp, man. Working with him is relatively easy. I mean, as a veteran of fighting, he's he's really open and very cerebral as a a student of martial arts. Very open to techniques and ideology and philosophies on how to compete. Is Gideon the only fighter you corner, or do you train other guys? I train other fighters. I've cornered Gideon Ray. I've trained with uh, helped out Clay Guida. Um, a few Midwest fighters, like I said, but I mean, I've had BJ Penn call me, I've had GSP call me about random stuff. And what can I say? Well, what's next on the uh, what's next on your dance card? Do you have what's any fights on, coming up? Yes, what's on my agenda? <laughs> Other than the women, Lord, everybody's always worrying about what I'm doing. <laughs> I am. Doing a fight in Minneapolis, Minnesota for uh, Jeremy Lang and uh, Brock Larson. They're promoters out there. And I said, yeah, I'll do a fight getting and I'll uh, fight on the car together. And um, essentially we'll be cornering each other. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, then I'm fighting in the W1 organization up in Ottawa, Quebec, Canada for the welterweight world title for W1. Since Carlos Noon couldn't make weight. Uh-oh. Did I say that out loud? I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it either. Did I speak my mind? Oops. Make way, Carlos. Anyway, go back to Japan. Anyway, next. <laughs> um, I got called out on my Twitter account about your fight shorts. People want to know, I guess they want to know um, why you're more comfortable wearing the uh, the, 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 the junk of the trunks. Okay, let me explain. I'm sure it was a woman that asked. It wasn't. It was Jesse Gray from MixedMarshallMarketing.com. It was a woman? No, it was a dude. Guy. What it you was doing? a guy. Why do it was you a guy. Care? Why do you care, man? I'm, I'm going to call him out by name. Jesse Gray. Jesse Gray. He wants to know why you rock the banana hammock as because opposed to the Valley Tudos. Six to seven out of ten women approve. I am Speedo certified. And that's not just with a flat stomach. I'm man shade. I am certified. And not to mention, let's face it, do you want to be the guy that's seen on pay-per-view in my guard? Or I'm in your guard. Or I get your back. Or you get my back. Or I mount you in a full mount. 
late in the second, early, mid to late third period while I'm really sweaty. My sweat running down my chest, down my speedos, past my nuts and under your stomach and chest. Do you? No. So subsequently you want to stand up and taste the venom of my stand-up, son. Now, now, you get the lesser of two evils. Me kicking your ass around that cage in Speedos, or getting mounted, pounded, guarded, or in your guard. And God forbid if I get your back. I have painted a most disturbing alliteration of description on how a potential MMA match could go from heterosexual to homosexual in the <laughs> South. God forbid I get you to the North-South. That's just wrong. Wrong, man. Well, there's not too many places we can go from there. So <laughs> give, your, uh, give your next fight out in Minnesota a shout out. What's the, uh, what's the date on that, you and Gideon Ray? Uh, Gideon Ray and I uh, this coming weekend. February, the second weekend of February, whatever date that is, I'm in Minneapolis, March 20th, I am in Canada, but the following weekend I'm in Jamaica in hedonism, training, of course, training in Jamaica. Uh, uh, um, I teach at Keller's Martial Arts over 3718 West Irving Park Road. Come on by and see me. I'm a trainer at Export Fitness at Logan Square. Come over there and train with me. Or, uh, uh, love my kids. Sierra, Samarian, and, uh, and, and Osiris. Daddy loves you. Uh, MTC, you guys, I love you. Flo, I love you. That's a school, not a girl. <laughs> That's about the size of it. That's it, Shoney Carter. Mr. International. Thanks.